it must be Tuesday because anti-president Trump protesters are back in Foley Square. No hate, no fear. Immigrants are welcome here. Once again, expressing their opposition to the Trump administration's existing suspended executive order on immigration and their fear of an updated version of the order that could increase deportations of immigrant families. I daily hear people calling, freaking out over the phone. This anxiety is is real. It's, it's creating this chaos in a community that's already been vulnerable. Federal immigration officials confirm agents recently rounded up hundreds of people classified as, quote, illegal immigrants in raids across the country, asserting a majority of those targeted were criminals who do not belong in the United States. Stephen Miller is President Trump's senior policy advisor. Right now, as a result of the president's order, greatly expanded and more vigorous immigration enforcement activities are taking place. It is true that Operation Crosscheck is something that happens every year. But this year, we've taken new and greater steps to remove criminal aliens from our communities. Because of President Trump's actions, innocent people are now being kept out of harm's way. Let me play devil's advocate here. If you listen to the administration, they'll say that a majority of the people who were rounded up in these most recent raids are criminals who don't deserve to be in this country. To that, you say what? I would say that it's actually much more complicated than that, and it's really, really concerning that the administration wants to pit an entire class of people as quote-unquote criminals. A lot of these individuals actually have really minor convictions. It's for something as small as, like, jumping a turnstile. We do not believe that people who have done things like that should actually deserve to be deported. The fear is real in New York City's immigrant communities, and now there are reports criminals are trying to profit off of those fears by pretending to be federal ICE immigration agents, as they allegedly did in Councilman Jimmy Van Bramer's Queens district. They approached this man, uh, and they said that he had to give them all the money he had, or they would take him in. Uh, they would take him in posing as ICE officers. So the warning tonight to New York City's immigrants, regardless of your immigration status, is that if you are approached by someone who presents themselves as an ICE agent and they demand money on the spot, obviously they are not an official ICE agent.